Today, we're going through my top five pickups of 2022, and one of them just arrived. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic video. In this video, we have my biggest pickup 2022. I technically traded for this in 2022, even though it's 2023 now. This You'll see later, but we're gonna open it up, unbox it, if you will, later on in the video. And I have a few other awesome cards that I picked up this year and wanted to share with you guys. Before we hop into it, I have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a PSA slab of a Red Eyes Black Dragon Korean reprint. That's a Gem Mint 10. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite of my five pickups this year, and let me know your favorite pickup that you got this year. All right, so the reason that I wanted to do this video is there is a card that I have not shown anyone, I don't think for the most part on YouTube, that I've picked up. Then we have the new one that I've picked up. So there's a couple cards you guys have not seen on my channel at all so i wanted to share those and then a few other ones you have seen but they're some of my favorites so i wanted to mention them i do have an honorable mention because i found a couple of cards while i was looking around and i was reminded of one of these on twitch the other day go follow me on twitch if you guys want to see my streams i'm doing three streams a week for the entire year of 2023 so it's gonna be a lot of streams go check it out we're doing a lot of fun stuff like tcg openings you know gameplay and stuff like that so go check it out if you want to see that the other day we were going through cmos top 30 cards he made posted a video the other day and he reminded me of this card so this is an honorable mention mention card simo himself gifted me this ultimate rare genzo which i don't remember i think we might have opened it up on the channel when i first got it but since then i haven't really talked about it this card is one of my absolute favorite cards that i own really cool it's one of my favorite picks up pickups of the year for sure this is the only raw card some of them i graded and some of them i actually bought or traded for this is one that i was gifted so this is the only card that i was actually given so it's a very very cool genzo ultimate rare ocg ultis are just awesome so i wanted to throw this in here since I was reminded of it the other day. Then another honorable mention. This one I just saw as I was going through my cards. We graded this card this year, The Last Warrior from Another Planet. One of the main cards I want from Labyrinth of Nightmare. And I try to collect like all the main cards I want from certain sets. And this was one of the last ones I needed for Labyrinth of Nightmare because I already have Mass Beast. I already had uh, Dark Necro Fear and stuff like that. So getting this one was huge. I don't actually have the Gemini Elf, so I'd like to pull or pick that one up at some point. Okay, now we can get into our top five. There's been some pretty good ones, but this one has a pretty nice story because we actually pulled this one this is the starlight blue eyes white dragon we got this in a live stream let's just flash back to the moment right now know that you need to order well done you gotta have cheese you gotta have the blue eyes white dragon let's go all you have to do is slander in and out and look what happens guys the blue eyes white dragon super rare card the highest attack and defense card too difficult to get one of the most epic flavor texts of all time. Blue Eyes White Dragon. If we get a 10 here, this is an awesome submission. Come on, please. Animation Chronicles, Blue Eyes. Do it. PSA 10. Here we go. Yes! What a way to end the submission. Blue Eyes White Dragon. PSA 10 to go along with the Genzo. So we searched for this card out of a bunch of OCG boxes. We actually pulled it and then we graded a PSA 10. So this was really awesome. And the first Starlight Blue Eyes White Dragon that they've made so far and I'm hoping they do that in English coming up soon. I could see this happening this year. Maybe it's gonna be next year, I don't know. Eventually this is gonna happen in English. You're like, hey, this is in English, yeah. But this came in an OCG set and had English text, but just, just read it. Some of the best text ever. Super rare card, the highest attack and defense card, too difficult to get. It is too difficult, but yet we were able to get it and grade it a 10. So this is my number five favorite pickup of the year, the Prismatic Blue Eyes Y Dragon. And while we're on number five, I wanna mention all the other cards we struggled to pull, like we did a bunch of live streams, like the dpe starlight that was tough that was very difficult we opened like seven cases then the scapegoat took like what seven more cases of that and that was supposed to be easier to pull then of course the ghost rare red eyes and all that crazy stuff that we opened a ton we never pulled the left arm but i think by the time you see this we might have done the live stream and tried to pull it again we'll see actually i think maybe it'll be tomorrow from when you see this or the next day so we're going to be trying to open that left arm soon live on youtube so go check it out that's number five and uh some honorable mentions in there as well then at number four we have the ancient gear golem ultimate rare PSA 10 we graded this in a recent video this is a card that I've been trying to grade and get as a PSA 10 for several years so I actually graded two in the same submission which is crazy I'm selling one of them still available for sale but I only, I only need really one copy but this card I have been looking for for a long time I once had all the ultra ultis out of the lost millennium and I didn't have this one and I kept trying kept getting nines and I finally graded this so this was just a really big pickup a nice addition to the collection I'm really excited to have it the ultimate rare ancient gear golem from Yu-Gi-Oh GX which is really Really awesome so number four had to be that but those are those pale in comparison to the top three the top three are insane at number three we have one you guys have already seen this you saw when i picked it up but i wanted to just share it again 
the Minerva, the Exalted Light Sworn. This is the super rare prize card that we traded for at Nationals in Chicago. We gave up like $3,500 worth of cards for it. We're getting a super rare Minerva for, you want to show us what, what all you, you just took from me? Oh, we got a few things here. Metamorphosis. Oh my Red goodness. Leg. Turbo That's pack the, super rare. Yeah, yeah. Breaker first edition from Magician's Force. Ultimate rare first edition. Soup, whatever this thing's called, Deck Devastation Virus. A couple of Spirit Reapers from Champion Pack. Snap steal. All of that for one card. <laughs> pretty sick, pretty sick. Been a pleasure. We just got the super rare Minerva. We traded half of our binder to get it. But honestly, worth it. That was pretty sick. Pretty nice condition on this card for sure. And uh, yeah, it's it's just so cool because the, being a prize card, even though there are a lot of these super rares out there compared to something from like a main set, like even these cards is, you know, they, there's just a lot more of those compared to this. It is still really hard to get these cards. If you get the ultra rares, it's just on another level. It's like 10 X the price of the super rares, but I'm starting with the super rares when it comes to my prize cards. I'm really excited. I've picked this up. I just think this is a really cool card because one it's iconic for like people were actually playing this card when it came up the light swarms were really really good at the time so it was getting used people were playing like crease copies and stuff like that so some of them are actually like game worn and in use so that's actually a good thing when it comes to the collectability because if you have a nice copy it's a lot harder to find so pretty excited about this card pretty awesome i don't know if i'm ever going to get rid of this one i'm just excited to have picked it up this year all right number two is one that i have never shown so we're actually going to do it like this so it's a b GS graded card. I did not grade this card myself. I just bought it straight up. This is the only one of these that I actually bought straight up. And uh, you can see it as a gold label. If you don't know a lot about BGS, we don't do a ton of BGS on this channel. I do have a BGS return coming soon though, which is going to be pretty fun. This means that it's going to be like a 9.5 or a 10, I believe. I think a nine or below is silver. No, nine is silver and then like 8.5 maybe silver and then it's like white label. And then there's a black label, of course, the iconic black label that has all the 10 subgrades. So this, I can tell you right now, is a quad 9.5. There are five 9.5 subgrades. It's a strong 9.5. This is a pretty cool card. Are you guys ready to see this? Here we go. It is a Dark in Dragon 9.5 Gem Mint. Not 10, John Benjamin 9.5. All the subgrades are 9.5. Shonen Jump prize card, the last one made by Shonen Jump. This is by far the most common of all the Shonen Jump prize cards, but even then, it is an insane, awesome card to have picked up. And then it being in 9.5 condition, even though I'm not a huge Beckett guy, but not gonna lie, this card actually looks pretty nice in this slab. I think it actually fits pretty well. And it's just an iconic card. This one, I think I spent $2,500, so it was actually cheaper than, I traded like value of 3,500 for that. So trade value is usually a little bit more or whatever, but this actually costs less being graded. And I thought it was a great deal because there was a raw one for like 2,400. And I was like, yeah, I'll take the, uh, I'll take the graded one for sure. That's pretty awesome. Sometimes the graded doesn't matter as much with the prize cards, because there's so few of them. The thing about graded for populated cards is there's like thousands and thousands of them out there, but there's only like maybe a hundred of them graded 10. So it kind of like makes them more rare. But for this, it's they're already rare to begin with. So then if they're graded high, it can make it even more or it can not matter that much. So I just thought it was a cool grade to have a 9.5 quad because that's just a strong grade at BGS. It's really hard to get that. And then this crazy card. So I really wanted to share it. Excited to own an SJC prize card. I'd love to have more at some point, but they're crazy expensive to pick up the other one. So eventually, I would like to have all of them, but maybe one day, maybe when I'm like 50, we'll have done it. <laughs> and the final card that we have, it is sealed up. I made a trade for this card. This kind of video is actually reminding me of like my 2019 style of where I used to like kind of just show off cards and maybe like unbox some mail and stuff like that. We don't do that as much anymore. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know and we could maybe do it in the future of the channel. But I think this is a special episode because some of these cards are big time. And this is a card that I've wanted for a long time, like since I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh and I've not gotten it. So we're going to open this up for you guys. I think it's the right package because we did that TCG player video. Go check that out where Twitch chat spent a thousand dollars a TCG player. We ordered like 78 cards. So I'm getting so many packages. Like I was about to say thousands, not that many, but like a hundred packages are just showing up all the time. So I hope I didn't mix this one up, but I'm pretty sure this is the right one. Uh, let's see if we can uh, pull it out. OK, let's do that. We don't want to spoil it. You might have seen it. I don't know, but it is a graded card, of course. Let's pull this out. It is a PSA graded card. This card I have looked for for a long time. I haven't actually seen it in person yet because we just opened it on the video, of course. Let's see how it looks. It's a pretty new grade. 65 million is not that long ago. I think they're like in 70 million right now. So it's definitely this year. Are you guys ready to see this? I'm ready to see it because I haven't seen it yet. Let's just show it. 
Exodia, the Forbidden One First Edition PSA 10. The unstoppable Exodia. Yes, I have. Ha I own this card because I actually pulled one of these with Rhyme Style, but I have never had a PSA 10 version. So this is really, really exciting. It's a glossy print. If you look at the surface, it is not a wavy print. There's both wavy and glossy. They're two different ones. But the centering on this, I saw the picture is not fantastic, but it's not too bad. It actually looks better in person than when I saw it on the picture. I'm not super nitpicky about my 10s having perfect centering. I just wanted it to be a PSA 10 which this I traded that Genzo I graded the other day in a PSA return video traded to my friend Gezi. He had this for sale. I, we were asking the same price. He was asking like $5,000 for this. I had a Genzo up for sale for 5,000. I said, Hey, you want this exo or you will you trade me that Exodia? I'll give you my Genzo. And he's like, yes, just throw in a few comments because he's a big common guy. So throw in a bunch of comments I had and we made this trade. I'm super excited for this because not only do we have this now, but we also have the right leg. So we are two for five. I know when that's not that close, but the head is one of the big ones. The left side is also very difficult to find. So eventually I'm going to need the left leg, left arm and the right arm to complete this set. But just picking this guy up by himself, I, you don't even need the whole set with the Exodia head. It is an amazing looking card. So that is my number one pickup of 2022. I think it's been a pretty good year. I've definitely like I've picked up a lot of cards, but I usually move a lot of them. Like I sell them. I trade them and stuff like that. There's a few specific cards. I try to pick up a few high end cards a year. We did a great job this year by picking up all of these guys. We had two prize cards. We had a Legend of Blue Eyes first edition. We had an Ultimate Rare from GX. Then we had a new card, a Starlight Blue Eyes White Dragon. Pretty amazing variety. A pretty awesome year in 2022 for multiple reasons, but the pickups were great. Let me know in the comments your favorite pickup that I got and the one that you got this year. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Miss Cycle, James Jance, Frankie Martin, as an Unatai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.